One of the best things about digital planning is stickers. Using stickers in your digital planner is just like using stickers in a paper planner. There are decorative ones so you can create a specific theme or functional ones that can be used for things like appointments, tracking habits, holidays, and things like that. Digital stickers, however, are easily reusable and you can use them over and over again. And you can even move the stickers around if you don't like the placement, which you can't really do with paper planners. Digital stickers, if you purchase them, are typically delivered in three different ways. First is as a transparent PNG. Typically, they are all zipped together in a folder, so you can split screen that folder and your digital planner to drag and drop the stickers over. The second way, which is probably the most popular way in the digital planning community, is with something called pre-cropped sticker sheets or sticker books. This is a PDF file that was actually imported into GoodNotes and then the sticker creator added those stickers on top of that sheet or that sticker book and then they exported it as a GoodNotes file for you to later add to your GoodNotes app. And then similarly to using the folder, you can use this sheet to copy and paste the stickers over into your planner. Whenever the sticker creator does their final export, it turns into a .goodnotes file, and that's the file that you import into GoodNotes. And then the third way, the least popular way I would assume, at least for right now, is an elements collection. This is again using GoodNotes specifically. The sticker creator adds their stickers to an elements collection in GoodNotes, and then they share it so you can add that later as a collection to your elements in GoodNotes. If you're not already familiar with Elements and GoodNotes, I do have a video that goes in depth about Elements, what they are, how to use them, when it's best to use them, and some tips and tricks. I'll have that video linked in the cards and in the description for you. In this video, I am sharing how to create a branded digital sticker sheet or sticker book that you can add your digital stickers to, to either sell or to give away to others that want to use your GoodNotes digital stickers. I'll be using my iPad, my Apple Pencil, and the app Keynote, but you can use apps like Affinity or Procreate, Canva even. There's a number of apps you can use to create a branded sheet. So let's get started. So I have my iPad and my Apple Pencil here, and I'm going to start by opening up the Keynote application on my iPad. But again, you can use Canva or Affinity Designer or whatever you're using today to create the template. So I'm gonna start with Keynote. And so this is what Keynote looks like on my iPad. I'm just going to click Create Presentation and choose a theme. And then I'm just going to select the blank white theme here. And then I can, with my finger, hold on one, tap on the other to multi-select. And then I can click Delete since I don't need those blocks there. And it doesn't necessarily really matter what size template that you go with because it will be used digitally and sizes and resolutions don't necessarily matter too too much when it comes to using things digitally as much as it does when it comes to printing things so you can actually just go with this template kind of the template size that it generates for you in the program that you select or you can go with us letter or a4 or whatever sizes that you would like Typically, I like to size them pretty much about the same size as my digital planner, so I'll do that for this, but you can also do portrait or landscape. It really just depends on how you want your digital sticker sheet to look when it's used and uploaded into GoodNotes. So I'm gonna come over here to presentation and then come down to presentation options. And then over here, you'll see presentation setup. I'm gonna click this. This allows us to change the theme again if we would like to, and then here you'll see slide size. Here's where we can change it from four to three ratio to 16 by nine, three by four, square, or we can select a custom size. I'm just going to change the width to 1200 because that is typically the size that I do for digital planners on the iPad. And I'm going to go with a landscape digital sticker sheet for this just because I tend to prefer landscape digital sticker sheets since that's how I tend to use my digital planners is in landscape. But if you want to do portrait, you would just swap these numbers or go with whatever size you feel is best for your sticker sheet. So I'm gonna go with 1200 by 768. I'm gonna click done. 
and you can see that it's increased the width of my page. I'm gonna click done again, and then I can start designing my sticker sheet. And this will really just come down to how you want your sticker sheet to look. You do wanna make sure that you're leaving a lot of white space for the actual stickers themselves. But if you think back to paper planner sticker sheets, you know, they're very minimal. They just feature maybe the business logo, maybe a website, maybe social media but the focus is really just to have a sheet to put the stickers on, right? So you can just design your sticker sheet how you prefer designing it. What I'm going to do is just add kind of my business logo and things like that, things that I tend to add to my sticker sheets. And that's just how I'm going to approach this as well. I might add a few decorative elements here and there just to show you different ways that you can design your sticker sheets. And I will share what my past sticker sheets have looked like since I've gone through multiple rebrandings and trying to nail down kind of the mood and the feel that I want K Digital Studio to elicit, I've gone through different variations of sticker sheets. So I'll share those so you can get some ideas. But for this sticker sheet, I'm just going to stick with simple, minimal. My focus is the stickers. I'm gonna click the images icon here and I'm gonna click photo or video since they already have my logos and different icons and things saved to my camera roll. So here is the KGL Studio logo, and I just need to crop this down. I'm gonna click here for crop, and then I'm just going to crop it down to the logo. And then click done. And then I can just resize this how I would like. I'm just gonna go with a center logo for this one. So I'm gonna use my rulers and my guides here to help me determine what the center is. You'll see if I hold my pencil down while I'm moving this element, you'll see rulers pop up here along the side. And here you can see that I'm at the zero point, which is the center of the page. And I'm going to put my logo there. To add just a little simple detail, I'm gonna come over here to my shapes tool. And I'm gonna come down here to the square to adjust the properties and the styling of the square, I'm gonna come over here to my paintbrush icon. I'm going to change the fill here. I'm gonna scroll all the way over and click no fill. I'm going to toggle on a border and I'm just gonna leave it at one point with a color black and I'm gonna have a solid style for my line. And then I'm just going to create kind of a little border here just to add a small little detail to my sticker sheet. And then I'll tap this and arrange it back. That way, if I need to, I can move my logo. I might make it a bit smaller. And there we have it. I think this is a really good start for my sticker sheet, but I'm also gonna take it just a few more steps further and add my social media icons. So these are icons that I already created in Procreate, so I can pull those in. So here we have my Pinterest icon, I'm just gonna resize that down and I might put that in the bottom corner here. And then I can just repeat that process with my other social icons. So I can have my Instagram. Let's just go ahead and grab my icons here before we situate those. And I'll go with Facebook here. And then I do have a question mark sticker that will link to the help library on my website. And then I have a shopping cart icon to link to my, sh my shop, but I will leave that out for this one just so I can have my social media and my help icons. So what I'm going to do so I don't accidentally pick up this border here is I'm just gonna tap this, come over here to my properties and click arrange. And then I'm gonna come down here to lock, to lock it in place so I don't accidentally move it and pick it up while I'm working down here. So I'm gonna zoom in down here and I'm just gonna resize my icons. And then space them appropriately. So I'm coming up to my paintbrush and then going to arrange. And then I'm going to align and distribute my icons evenly. So I'm going to align them all to the top. And then I'm going to distribute them horizontally, and then I'll click done to make sure they're all even and in a row. And then those are my social media icons. What I can do is I can click into these, I can click link, and then I can link these out to those pages. So I can link this to my Pinterest, I can link this to my help desk. So if I go to link, and then I change this to web page, then I can type in the K Digital Studio help desk, 
So I can do kdigitalstudio.com slash help, done. And then I can repeat the same process for my icons here, linking them to a specific web page and then inserting my social media here. But you can also link them to a different slide if you needed to, a web page, of course, an email or a phone number if you needed to. And so that is how I'm going to style my digital sticker sheet. Of course, it's very minimal and very simple, but for things like sticker sheets, you really don't have to have super elaborate sticker sheets. You can just have the focus be on the stickers themselves. Okay, so now that we have completed our sticker sheet, I'm gonna come over here to my presentation. I'm gonna click export, and then I'm going to click PDF. So I'll just leave all of this the same. I'll click export and then I'll save this to the files app on a, my iPad. And then if I wanted to, I could rename this and then save it to there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hop over into GoodNotes and then I'm gonna click new and I'm going to click import. And then I'm going to go to my iCloud drive where I saved that sticker sheet so I can import it into GoodNotes. Okay, so here is my sticker sheet. So I'm gonna click this and then I'm gonna click open. And then here is my sticker sheet that I created for adding my digital stickers. You'll see that the links will work if I go into reading mode. So if I go here to my help library, click yes, it'll pull up my help library that I linked from my sticker sheet, which is really helpful. I'm gonna go back to my sticker sheet and now it's time to actually add the digital stickers that we created. If you need help with learning how to create digital stickers on your iPad, I will have tutorials linked below for you. But for now, I'm just going to pull up a folder of where my digital stickers are located. And I'm gonna split screen with my sticker sheet here. Okay, so I pulled up an example of some stickers that I have already created. So this is my essential icons pack, which I already have launched in the shop if you wanna check those out. And then I can just drag and drop these over. The unfortunate thing right now about dragging and dropping stickers over into GoodNotes for your pre-crop sticker sheets is unfortunately, if I come up here and click select and select all, unfortunately, I can't add all of the stickers like this into GoodNotes. I have to go one by one. GoodNotes only allows you to drag and drop one sticker at a time, unfortunately. So this can be a time consuming process depending on how many digital stickers you created and want to add to your sticker sheet. So I'm just gonna drag and drop my stickers like this. And I like dragging them on top of each other because I like my stickers to be roughly the same size. So if I drag and drop my stickers over, once I've dragged and dropped all of the stickers over that I need to from the sheet, I can use my lasso tool lasso everything and then resize them all at once. And then I can use my images tool to move them how I see fit on my sticker sheet. If I ever run out of space on my sticker sheet, I just come up here to my plus page icon and then click current template and make sure after is selected. And then I have another template that I can use to add stickers. As much as possible, I try to minimize the number of pages with my digital stickers. If I can't fit it all onto one page and it doesn't look as great if I'm trying to shove so many stickers on one page, then I will add a second page of stickers to this. So once you've added all of the digital stickers to your digital sticker sheet, now it's time to export this for other GoodNotes users. And this is the most important step to making sure that you can lasso and copy stickers and move them around for your planners. Or other people are able to copy and paste and move these stickers around to add them to their planners. So you can come over here and name your sticker sheet if you want. You can name it your business name and then whatever the sticker set is called or whatever the sticker set is called. However you want to name your file. I'm just going to leave it as this. I'm going to come up here to my export icon and click that. I'm going to click export all. So if you have multiple pages, you wanna make sure that you click export all. And then here you wanna make sure that you have GoodNotes selected. You wanna make sure that you're exporting this as a GoodNotes file because this allows users to move the stickers around or copy and paste them to their planners. If you export as a PDF, you'll notice it gives you kind of a little note here that says flattened. And that means it becomes all 
one file. You won't be able to move the stickers because they will flatten down to the PDF, making it uneditable, essentially. So you wanna make sure that you click GoodNotes and you're gonna click Export. And then you'll just save this to your Google Drive, Dropbox, your iCloud Drive. I'm gonna save it to my iCloud Drive, so save to Files. Then I can select the folder or wherever I want this saved. And then I can save this. So now if I go back to my files and go to where I have it saved in my files, you'll see that it saved it here. And it's called stickersheettutorial.goodnotes. It looks like a zip file, but the file is actually a GoodNotes file. It ends in .goodnotes. And so what they'll do is they'll click this and then they'll share this directly to their GoodNotes app. So I can save this. And you'll see that it's pulled it up after I've imported it into GoodNotes. Now I can use my lasso tool to copy and paste these stickers to my digital planner. Let's say you accidentally exported it as a PDF. I wanna show you what that looks like on the other side of things. So let's go back to my sticker tutorial here. I'm gonna click export, export all. Let's say I accidentally had this saved. It also gives you a warning here that the content is saved as one layer and cannot be edited after the export. So hopefully that gives you enough warning. But let's say I didn't see that and I exported it anyway. I'm gonna save this to my files and let's save that to downloads as well. Now let me head back over into my files. You'll see now that it actually shows a thumbnail of what the page looks like and it ends in .pdf. Let's click this and send this to my GoodNotes app. So as you can see, the sticker sheet looks the same. Nothing seems out of the ordinary here. But if I go to my lasso tool, I actually can't copy and paste or move around these stickers because everything is flattened down. I also can't click the links in my file anymore because I flattened those links down in GoodNotes. So again, you always wanna make sure that you're exporting your pre-cropped digital sticker sheets as a .goodnotes file whenever you go to export. And that is, the simple way of just creating pre-cropped digital sticker sheets on GoodNotes. They are very easy and simple to create. And with this template, you can use it over and over for your digital stickers. You'll just import the same template that you created, add your stickers to it, and then export it as a GoodNotes file for either yourself or others to use. So now let's take a look at some of my past digital sticker sheets that I created so you can get an idea of how you can approach your design of the sticker sheet since that's really what it comes down to in creating these sticker sheets. And then of course, making sure you're exporting as the correct file type. So currently my digital sticker sheets look like this. As you can see, I've added a bit more information for the digital sticker sheets, just because I found that it's a lot easier to add the instructions directly on the digital sticker sheet. So if at any point, if someone has a question about how to use the digital stickers, instead of navigating to a separate file with those instructions, I found it helpful lately to include that here on the side. So of course I still have my logo and my tagline, but I also included instructions here that people can reference when they're using these digital sticker sheets. And I also included a link to my help library on kdigitalstudio.com. Here is a look at my past sticker sheets. Again, very simple. I have my logo, I have this border. Then I have this down here at the bottom with my website and all things like that. This one I created hyperlinked. So these are the planning widgets that I offer in the shop. So I have it created to where people can click the color that they want to navigate to within this file. Found that really easy to manage with stickers that are offered in different colors or there's just a lot of kind of the same type of sticker. So I have it to where they can tap to the specific colorway to get to that page. So that's another example. Here's one of my past sticker sheets as well. Again, very simple. I just went with my logo here and the website and my email. And this was, again, before some of the rebranding of KDigital Studio. I actually went with a colored background for this as well. I do recommend sticking with white or dark just so it's easier to see the colors or if there's colors that are kind of similar to your background, they'll blend in. But this is another way that you can create and design digital sticker sheets. And you'll notice that this sticker sheet and the last one I did in portrait, whereas my current ones are landscape. Again, that will all come down to personal preference on how you want your digital sticker sheets to look. Here's another example of digital stickers that I created. For this one, I went with a purple background and that 
is because the stickers themselves are white. And so again, I have my logo here, I have a little design, and I did add a button to submit a ticket if they needed help. Here is another digital sticker template design that I created, again, my logo. For this one, I added the name of the digital sticker set itself, as well as a few instructions for how to use the digital stickers. With this sticker sheet, however, I would have to go into Keynote every time to change the labeling of the sticker sheet itself. So while this is really nice and helps the users know what sticker set this is, I do recommend keeping it very simple by having a logo and a help button and stuff and not getting super specific with what the stickers are just so you can reuse the same template over and over again and save yourself a little bit of time. And then here is one of the first sticker sheet templates that I created for GoodNotes. Again, you can see I went very simple. I have the portrait style for the sticker sheet. I have my old logo and I also have the social icons here that I showed in the tutorial and these will link out to things like my shop or my Instagram or my Facebook and things like that. So hopefully that gave you some ideas of different ways that you can actually design these sticker sheets, add your stickers to them and then share them or just make it easier for you to organize your own digital sticker collection in these sticker sheets if you find that you prefer using pre-cropped sticker sheets. I do already have multiple tutorials on creating different digital stickers on the iPad. So if you're interested in learning more about creating digital stickers themselves, I'll have those videos linked in the description below for you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to click the thumbs up button to let others know. And if you haven't yet and would like to see more videos like this one, also hit that subscribe button and the notification bells so you'll never miss a future upload from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.